same energy. Get it together, get it together, get it together, get it together. Be simple, straight to the point. Got you. Energy. Ah, this one is, this is, this is the one. This is the one. All right then. What's up guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. For the people who don't know us, this is your boy Valdez and beautiful girl Ego. Hi guys. So today we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic. And I think this was the most asked question that we got throughout our relationship from yeah. our friends. Do's and don'ts that you should and should not be doing while you're in the talking stage. If you've been dating them for six months or however long you've been together, what you should be doing. Or you even considering to date somebody and you don't know, you know, where exactly. you have to start. Exactly. So yeah, let's get right into it. So communication is extremely important, especially when you don't live with the person, you're just trying to figure out who they are and you're just trying to get to know them. Communication is the only thing that connects you and the person when you first start talking to them. And I think, I, I know in my experience, I was a little bit overthinking, I'm not gonna lie, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm <laughs> But it wasn't really my fault that's just how i am and i always did that so when i really check myself and i'm like hey wait i need to communicate and tell valdas what's happening in my head because he can't read my mind that's when we started to you know go somewhere because i would just hold everything in and just like not say anything to him and then after a while he would just get frustrated and it would just get it would just be a mess when you first get to know someone you're talking to them you're figuring out who they are and you're really just trying to understand the type of person that they are and who they would be if they were in a relationship with you so i think communication is number one point two getting out of your comfort zone is very important because sometimes you can miss out on the people as our experience showed we actually uh, i was getting out of my comfort zone i didn't know the language that well so i had to get out of my comfort zone and go and meet this person which find out you know we after several several years we actually got married so getting out of the comfort zone is the key into experience, into relationship, or into something that you probably wouldn't experience if you wouldn't go and do it. I think a lot of people, they have the same type of dating experience because they date the same people. You're dating the same types of people and you're getting the same results and you're just asking yourself, why is, why is this not working? What's happening? And I think a lot of people, they don't think, okay, babe, this is not working. Let me try something else. You don't always have to go for, you know, the same type of people that you date, that you know from high school, or the same types of people that are at the corner shop. Number two, extremely important, don't entertain compliments. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Uh, you know, some people just go in a conversation, creating something forward, you know, and uh, it could be misleading. Basically, you just have to say, TQ, bye. Instagram, block, 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 affer, block. You know, uh, why would you even come in there and entertain? Just entertain one person and focus your energy there because it will show in result that, you know, that person might get, might like you. Number three on the list, be yourself. A lot of people these days, especially with social media, we're in the era of trying to fake everything, especially when you're talking to someone, you're telling them, oh, I know X, Y, and Z. Oh, you know, I'm friends with this person. I know this person. I've been here, I've been there, I've been traveling. Listen, just be yourself because the person on the other end is gonna figure out anyway. And there's no point to lie to them now and then be disappointed when they don't wanna be with you after all the real stuff comes to, you know, comes to the surface. So I think that's really important. And you shouldn't be ashamed to be yourself anyway. If you're not being yourself with someone, I think that should be a huge red flag internally to say, listen, I can't be myself around this person, just leave. There's no point staying with that person because you're not able to be yourself and ultimately you're not gonna be happy because you're always gonna be putting on this facade for somebody and it's not gonna be the real you. You're not gonna be satisfied. Just stay humble, you know, be yourself. And if the person actually loves you, he's gonna love you the way you are. Don't hide your past. I know this is gonna cut a lot of people because people have some, skeletons hiding in the closet that they don't want to bring out they don't want to tell anybody something that you know might incriminate them or might make the person get a bit off of them but don't hide your past because listen if you have past traumas if you have past bad uh relationships or you know bad friendships those are all going to come up when you start dating someone new and you need to tell that person so they're prepared in order to help you get that get over that if it ever would arise again while you're dating so the fifth one is very juicy and it's very important for everybody. Cut all the ties with your exes. You know, I know people saying like, oh, I left with the good terms, or oh, we best friends. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. No. 
No! I refuse. No! No! No, you can't be like this. You have to cut all the ties with your exes and just move forward with the person you're dating or you will be dating. You don't have to bring any exes in this experience. If you're dating in any, you know, uh, relationship right now or even dating stage, you don't have to communicate with them. Cut all the ties. They're not going to benefit you in any other way. He said... <laughs> Do have your own hobbies. It's very important to have your own hobbies when you're dating someone. Instead of, you know, looking at the phone, oh, did he text me or you call me? Why is not answering? You left 13 messages and you all went to voicemail. <laughs> voicemail. <laughs> voicemail. <laughs> it's no reason, you know, to have this and panic and just go and then do some crazy shakara stuff. All you're saying, just have your own hobbies. Don't smother other people around, you know. Take your time. The person is maybe busy. You don't have to, you know, wait every second or even after the date, you go in calling, oh, if you like me or you didn't like me. Keep yourself busy. Get busy. If you're not busy, find something to do. Pick up a new hobby because I'm, I guarantee you, especially girls, you're going to be waiting at your phone, waiting for him to text you, waiting for him to call you. Be like, oh, he just called me. We didn't talk for that long. Why? Like, you're just going to go crazy and it's just going to get, it's going to get ugly. And you could actually take that out on him when you do see him. Like, oh, why didn't you text me? Why didn't you call me? Ah, this one is, this is, this is the one. This is the one. Set your boundaries. Set your own boundaries. If you guys been talking for a month, I have so many friends asking me, oh, Ego, we've been speaking for two months. Why is he like, why are we still talking? We've been speaking for six months. You didn't set no boundaries, so what do you expect? You went along with it and you you didn't raise anything. You didn't raise no boundaries because obviously if you've been dating somebody for six months and you're ready to take it to the next step and they're just still thinking like, oh, she's fine. She's not going to raise anything. She's not going to say anything. You said you didn't say anything. So it's important to lay those boundaries down. Okay, listen, if we've been speaking for two months, what's going on? Don't play cat and mouse. If you dating somebody for a couple months and you're only one person who's texting, planning, calling each other, checking on other person, you know, that probably brings you a lot of red flags where it's kind of like one sided and you have to have a balance between of the dating, which, you know, both putting effort. This is where you have to pull back from the person. So this one's a really, really big one. Ask yourself, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? And for what reasons? Is it because I'm lonely? Is it because, you know, I have a low self-esteem? Is it because I can't be alone? And there's many factors to why people start dating and why they truly want to find or start talking to other people. If you feel like you have the wrong reasons or you feel like you're lacking something internally, I think it's better to stop there and recognize that before you head into dating because it will benefit you and benefit the person that you're potentially going to date instead of carrying that baggage. So I think you should ask yourself internally, like, okay, what am I doing? What am I, how do I feel right now? What am I bringing to the table? And just make sure those bases are covered before you head into dating. So the last step is honesty. I think honesty is really big because I know a lot of you people love the life for free. And, uh, you know, we have a hard time with just telling people the truth. Just tell them the truth. That's all. Just tell us the truth. That's all we want. That's all they ask. Just tell us the truth. If you feel like you're not happy with something or you're uncomfortable with something or you just don't want to tell somebody the truth, just do it. Just honesty is really not that hard, especially when you're dating someone new. You have nothing to you don't owe them nothing. You but respect to be honest. Dating someone new, it's not hard to be honest to a stranger because you feel like you don't really know them. They're not really going to affect anything you do. But when you start dating someone and starting to get to know someone, it can get a little bit daunting and then you start feeling like you might have to lie about certain things and you know, maybe lie about certain situations that you might be in um, and certain people that you're talking to at the time and things like that. So I think when you're dating someone, number one, respect and honesty is just key. And this is the end guys. Thank you so much for watching. Those are all of our do's and don'ts of dating that actually worked for us when we started. So leave us a comment and let us know if anything has worked for you, if you tried anything new, and we'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs>